as you looked at his life and as you wrote the book and speak about it, um, why, why should young people today study uh, or be interested in Judah Benjamin's life? I, I would say a couple things. One is increasingly we live in a world of simple-minded moral judgments. I mean, I'm old enough to have remembered the 1960s. So I feel like now as then, uh, we think in highly moralistic and simplified terms. And it is, it, life is complicated. And it turns out that people who are not themselves particularly evil in their personality are all too willing to adopt profoundly evil beliefs. And this distinction between our human attributes and the moral consequences of our actions is a very profound and important one. In other words, it does not mean that we accept the monstrous evil carried out by and in the name of Robert E. Lee or Judah Benjamin because they were nice guys. No, but it also does not mean that because their beliefs were monstrously evil, then we can feel equally superior to them because we would be forced to recognize if we paid close attention to this that we ourselves, unless we were made of rare, of unusually heroic material and had an exceptional willingness to look beyond our own self-interest, we would fall prey to the same thing. Judah Benjamin was a far seeing person and yet his own ambition and his wish to assimilate trapped him in something terrible. Uh, this has been very fascinating and and entertaining and just a, a tremendous, tremendous, uh, we appreciate it very much. Uh, Judah Benjamin uh, by James Traub. And again, uh, urge all our visitors and listeners to just go on Amazon very simply to, and, and purchase it. And I think you'll enjoy it very, very much. All right. Well, thank you so much. Very, very much for your time and appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Great.